morning, ladies and gentlemen. Our group is here to report about 21st century literature from the Philippines and the world. Quarter 2, Week 6, produce a creative representation of our literary text by applying multimedia and ICT skills. Let us know. African literature takes pride in their identify as a people. Along with the rich heritage, the writings on Black Africa started in the Middle Ages when Arabic was introduced to them. With the birth of the Negritude, which literally means blackness, movement in 1934, writers committed to lock into their own culture with liberation and increased literacy. African literature has grown dramatically in quantity and recognition. African writers wrote both in Western languages, notably English, French, and Portuguese, and in traditional African languages such as Hausa. Female writers are today far better represented in published African literature. Protest against colonialism is a common theme in African literature as well as sense of pride in one's own culture. Some components of oral literature including songs, proverbs, and anecdotes greatly enrich the African novel's language. In addition to this, the characterization of an African novel sets it apart from other novels. Characterization in the story is accomplished through the narration of the character's thoughts. Afro-Asiatic and African languages as well as works written by Africans in European languages make up the body of traditional oral and written literature in Africa. Sub-Saharan societies that interacted with Mediterranean Cultures have their most distinctive written literature, which is restricted to a narrower geographical area than oral literature. Scholars is what is now Northern Nigeria have created written literatures in Hausa and Arabic, while the Somali people have a traditional written literature. Ethiopia, the only country in Africa where Christianity has been practiced long enough to be termed traditional, has its own works written in the languages of Giz, Ethiopic, and Amahic. Most European language works were written in the 20th century or after. There is also a separate article about South African literature in English and Africans. The relevance of the local and the reliability of the plots aren't the only reasons why African literature is significant. As a result, we become more aware of the social, political, and economic difficulties that the African continent is currently dealing with. Number one, the development of African literature from its written tradition up to the current trends. So what do you think? Is it true or is it false? If your answer is true, then you are correct. Ang pag-unlad ng African literature mula sa oral na tradisyon nito hanggang sa kasulukuyang mga usok ay sumasalamin sa kasaysayan ng mga tao along with the continent's feelings and the mind of its population. Number two, African literature takes pride in their identity as a people along with their rich heritage. The answer is true. Dahil kinanggihan ng pagbabahagi ng kanilang natatanging kultura sa iba pang bahagi ng mundo, ipinagmamalaki ng African literature ang kanilang pagkakakilanlan bilang isang tao kasama ang kanilang mayamang pamana. Number 3. The new continent enjoys a vast collection of masterpieces both in oral and written literature. The answer is false. It's not the new continent, it's the dark continent. Ang Afrika ay tinaguri ang dark continent ng mga taga-Europeo dahil sa mga misteryo at kalupitang bumabalot rito. Sa kasaysayan, ang bansang Afrika ay nakakabit sa isyo ng imperialismo at duality. Sinasabing mayroong dahilan kung paano nagsimula ang pagtatayo ng imperyo sa Afrika. Bunga ng pagkipagsapalaran, kagustuhan na gawing sibilisado ang kanilang mga katutubo at ang pag-asang mapigilan ng pangangalakal ng mga alipin. Number 4 
African literature are highly diverse and at the same time common? The answer is true. The language of the African novel is highly enriched with some aspect of oral literature, such as songs, proverbs, and narratives. The other aspect which makes African novel unique from other novels is characterization. In the novel, characterization is achieved by reporting the thoughts of the characters. Number 5. The writings on Black Africa started in the modern age, when Arabic was introduced to them, and then it moved forward in the 1800s with the coming alphabet. The answer is false. The writings on Black Africa started in the Middle Ages. Sa pagsilang ng kalusang na gratud, na literal na nangangahulugang kadiliman, noong 1934, ang mga manunulat na Aprikano ay nangako na tingnan ang kanilang sariling kultura, tradisyon, at mga halaga ng maaaring ilapat sa modernong mundo. Ang drive ng mga manunulat na pukawin ang kalayaang pampolitika ay lumago at ang dignidad ng mga tradisyon ng Afrika ay iginiit. Binuksan ng kalusang negritud ang paraan ng mga manunulat upang ipagdiwang kung ano ang tunay na Aprikano. Chimo Madagosi Adiche is a Nigerian who is best known for her published works that have gathered internal acclaim. Adiche was the fifth of six children born on September 15, 1977, in Enugu, Nigerian to James Y. Adiche and Grace Ifioma. Chima Mando was described in the Times Literary Supplements as the most prominent of a position of critically acclaimed young Anglophone authors, which is succeeding in attracting a new generation of readers to African literature. Adiche began writing her first novel, Purple Hibiscus, on 2003. Purple Hibiscus is all about post-colonial Nigeria, a country bested by political instability and economic difficulties. It comes to represent freedom and individuality. Purple Hibiscus draws on certain aspects of her background, hometown, and her Catholicism. And Half of a Yellow Sun, published in 2006, is the fourth estate in London, that symbol of the Republic of Biafra appearing on both national flag and military uniforms. This novel follows the course of Nigerian Biafran civil war through the experiences of the ethnically Igbo characters. Americana is a 2013 novel of Adiche. In February of that year, during Adiche pre-French publication promotion of the novel, France 24 reported that Americana had shifted 500,000 copies in the U.S. while being translated into 25 languages, which Adiche won the 2013 U.S. National Book Critics Circle Award for Fiction. Americana tells the story of a young Nigerian woman, Efemelu, who immigrates to the United States to attend university. And lastly, the book We Should Be Feminist is a book-length essay that was first published in 2014 by Fort Estate. It talks about the definition of feminism for the 21st century. Adichie delivers a compelling and deeply personal of her experiences and the experience of her friends, male and female, and Nigerian and American. Chimamanda Adichie's bio. Chimamanda was born in Indugo, Nigeria. The Igbo family's ancestral hometown was Aba in Anambra State. The story per Polybiscus is the reverse of her life. Chimamanda's father is very supportive and supporting her on what she wanted to do. Details on Purple Hibiscus Jaja and Kambili were also born in Enugu, Nigeria. They have a country mansion in Aba. Purple Hibiscus is the reverse of Chimamanda's life. Their father demands perfection, plans every moment of their lives, and punishes them physically if they don't follow their plan. Their father is abusive and not supporting them on what they wanted to do. Chimamanda, Jaja, and Kabili were born in Enugu, Nigeria. Silang tatlo ay pinanganak at lumaki sa Enugu, Nigeria. Chimamanda's hometown was Aba in Anambra State, while Jaja and Kambili has a country mansion in Aba. Ang pamilya ni Chimamanda ay nakatira sa Aba sa Anambra State, Samantalang sila Jaja at Kambili naman ay nakatira sa bansang mansion sa Aba. The story Purple Hibiscus was reversed in the life of Chimamanda. 
because Shimamanda's life became successful. The Purple Hibiscus is all about a father controlling his daughter and son's life. Ang kwento ng buhay ni Chimamanda ay kabaliktara ng buhay nila Jaja at Kambili. Dahil si Chimamanda maayos sang pumuhay, si Jaja at Kambili naman ay kontrolado ng kanilang ama ang kanyang buhay. Chimamanda's father is very supportive to her while Jaja and Kambili's father is very abusive, manipulative and controlling Jaja and Kambili's future. Ang tatay ni Chimamanda ay suportado siya sa lahat ng kanyang gagawin. Samantala ang tatay naman ni Jaja at Kambili ay mapanakit at kontrolado nito ang bawat desisyon nila. Chimamanda was living her life to the fullest with the support of her parents. Jaja and Kambili was not happy with the situation because their father always demand perfection plans every moment of their lives and punishes them physically if they don't follow his plan. Si Chimamanda ay masaya na sa kanyang buhay kasama ang kanyang mga magulang. Si Jaja at Kambili ay hindi naging maganda at hindi naging masaya ang buhay sa piling ng kanyang tatay. Dahil gusto nito ay siya lamang ang masusunod sa buhay ng Bela ni Chimamanda Gozi Adichie ay Purple Hibiscus ay malawak na ikinilala nung ito ay naipublish noong 2003 na ginawaran ng ilang prestiyosong premyo. Ang Purple Hibiscus ay pinuri para sa pagkuha ng isang karakter at isang bansa sa sukdulan ng radikal na pagbabago. Ginamit ni Adichie ang kanyang sariling mga karanasan sa pagkabata upang ipaalam ang buhay ng kanyang mga karakter. Siya ay pinanganak sa bayan ng Kambili sa Enugu, Nigeria. Lumaki sa kapaligiran ng Universidad ni Ate Pioma sa Suka ay may lahing igbo at isang katoliko. Ang Purple Hibiscus ay isang kwentong tungkol sa katiwalian at reliyosong ekstremismo ng sariling bansa ni Adichie. Ang mga hayagang pangpolitikang overtone ay pinananatili sa haba ng sandata sa kwentong ito ay isinalaysay mula sa panunaw ng isang kabataan, ngunit ipinaalam nila ang pagtanda ni Kambili. Ang ilang mga karakter sa kwento ay tumutukoy sa alon ng brutal na mga kudeta at tiwalaing pamumuno ng militar na naging katangian ng politika ng Nigerian. Sa kabila ng katotohanang maaaring ituring si Papa bilang isang simbolo para sa mga panganib ng fundamentalismo, isinisikap niyang gamitin niya mabuti ang kanyang kapangyarihan sa pamamagitan ng paglikha ng kamalayan sa lipunan. Ibinase ni Adichie ang karakter ni Ade Coker kay Dale Giwa, isang Nigerian na mamahayag at bokal na kalaban ng gobyerno. Noong 1986, pinatay si Giwa ng isang postal bomb sa kanyang bahay. DBT3, answer the following question and write your answer on a separate sheet of paper. Number 1, where did this story take place? Purple Hibiscus is set in post-colonial Inugu, Nigeria, a country beset by political instability and economic difficulties, freedom, oppression, love, and tradition. Young Nigerian girl, Kambili and her family. Number two. Who were the main characters in the story? Kambili Achike the novel's narrator of 15-year-old girl who is quiet and withdrawn but an excellent student tension with a Kambili family within the country of Nigeria. Jaja, Chukwoka Achike, Kambili's older brother, a 17-year-old who is also quiet but an excellent student. Papa, Eugene Achike, Kambili's father, a wealthy factory owner and devout Catholic, Papa uses his past well to support his friend and relative many charities and his church, St. Agnes. Mama, Beatrice Achigi. Kambili's mother, a quiet submissive woman who take care of her children but does not speak out against Papa's violence. Number three. What kind of problem was presented in the story? The force of tyranny oppression 
and silence all use violence as their tools throughout purple hibiscus. Papa uses violence to enforce his own kind of oppression on his family as he beats them. Number 4. What truth does the story present about human life? Love, war, conflict, and the persistent inequality between men and women are among the dominant themes in Adichie's. Purple Hibiscus and Hulk of a Yellow Sun, Adichie's, however, project womanhood in a positive light. She upholds female potentialities which the part patriarchal structure has repressed. Number 5. What symbols are represent in the story that reflect real life? Name two or more of them. A DJ's first novel is full of symbols. The palms represent victory, the figurines personify mama and the purple hibiscus is used as a symbol of hope and freedom in the future. In connection with Jaja, the figurines and the purple hibiscus are metaphors for mama and Jaja respectively. Activity 4, Characterization Chart of Purple Hibiscus by Chimamada Aditi Characters Kamili Papa, Mama, Chuko. Personality Traits Kambilit is an intelligent, observant, and religious young woman. Action which support traits. Kambilit, the narrator, is a 15-year-old young woman living in any Dialogue by or about the characters which illustrate traits. Kambilit is a shy, inhibited because of her father abuse. That changed when she spent extended amount of time away from her family, home at the house of Auntie Ifioma and her family. Personality traits of Papa. Papa, a wealthy factory owner, is an active philanthropist in public and upstanding Catholic, but in home, a strict and violent authoritarian action which support traits. Papa. When they return home, Papa beat Mama until she is a miserable. Dialogue by or about the character which illustrate traits. Papa publishes a newspaper, The Standard, which is only paper willing to criticize the new Nigerian state of head. Papa catches Kambili breaking the chuaris fast as she eats some food along with the painkiller she needs for her muscular cramps and he beats Kambili, Jaja, and Mama. Papa publishes a newspaper, The Standard, which is only people willing to criticize the new Nigerian head of the state. Papa catches Kambili breaking jewelry's fast as she ate some food along with painkiller she needs to take for her menstrual cramps and he beats Kambili, Jaja, and Mama. Personality traits of Mama. Mama is a quiet, submissive woman who takes care of her children but doesn't speak out against Papa violence. Action which support traits. Mama, the love figurines. Mama feels sick, doesn't want to leave the car. When they return home, Papa beat Mama until she is miserable. Dialogue by or about the character which illustrates traits. Papa catches Kambili breaking jewelry's fast as she ate some food along with painkiller. She needs to take for her menstrual cramps and he beats Kambili, Jaja, and Mama. Mama arrived one day after being beaten into another miserable. Personality traits of Chukwuko protect both his mother and sister in the face of Papa's violent authoritarianism at home. Action which support traits. Chukwuko is also Papa's victim, so there is a little he can do to stop the abuse. Dialogue by or about character which illustrate traits. Chukwuko, Papa is pounded at his death and they all go to a new when Papa auto speak is complete. Mama say that she poisoned him but police arrive and takes Jaja responsibilities for the crime. Three years later, Kambili and Mama visited Jaja in the prison and tell him he will be released soon. Let 
us review. What are your takeaways on quarter two lesson six? The Dark Continent has a great array of classics, both in oral and written literature, that are both unique and universal. African literature takes pride in their identity as a people as well as their rich legacy. Traditionally, Africans have not drawn a sharp line between art and education. Ang literature ay maaari ding mga hulugan lamang ng masining na paggamit ng mga salita para lamang sa sining. Ayon sa kaugalian, ang mga Aprikano ay hindi radikal na naghihiwalay ng sining mula sa pagtuturo. Sa halip na magsulat o kumanta para sa mga kagandahan sa sarili, ang mga manunulat na Aprikano ay kumukuha sa kanilang cue mula sa oral na panitikan. Gumagamit ng kagandahan upang tumulong sa pagpapahatid ng mahalagang katotohanan at impormasyon sa lipunan. Sa katunayan, ang isang bagay ay tinuturing na maganda dahil sa mga katotohanan ang inihahayag at sa mga komunidad na tinutulungan nitong itayo. The term women's empowerment refers to the process of enhancing women's self-esteem, decision-making, autonomy, and ability to affect societal change on their own and for the benefit of others. We can have peace and prosperity without a more empowered female population and this is a fundamental human right. As a significant global movement, women's empowerment and the promotion of women's rights have emerged in recent years. More and more people have begun to recognize days like International Women's Empowerment Day. First observed in 1989, women and girls around the world still endure prejudice and violence despite significant advances. There are five components empowering women. Their sense of self-worth, their right to have and determine choices, their right to access opportunities and resources, their right to have control over their own lives, both inside and outside the home, and their ability to influence social change to create more just social and economic order, both domestically and globally. As a result, Empowering women and girls to assert their rights requires more than just providing access to resources. It also necessitates changing the structures and organizations that support and perpetuate gender discrimination and inequality. The word empowerment is the degree of autonomy and self-determination that people and communities have in their lives because they can represent themselves, they can do it in a responsible and self-determined Women empowerment. The term woman empowerment indicates that women aren't powerful enough and must be empowered. This terrible reality has existed for a very long time. In recent years, substantial progress has been made in lifting women out of their abyss of insignificance and powerlessness. Women's independence was suppressed all across the world by parkal societies. Women were not permitted to vote or even express an opinion. Women were limited to the confines of their houses. They realized as time went on that their lives were watched more than just assisting in the household. The globe began to witness the rising of women as more and more women began to break down man-made barriers. Unlike males, women never strive to silence the opposite gender's voice. They take the hands of all the underprivileged people, men and women alike, and pull them out of their predicament while attempting to improve their own life. Women should be granted the same rights as males in order to truly empower them. For their growth and development, they must always be strong, vigilant, and alert. Women's education, poverty, health, and safety are among the most pressing issues. And that's all. Thank you for listening.